Hidden beneath British Columbia's majestic peaks lies a deadly secret. Scientists are scrambling for answers, and no one saw it coming. Deep beneath the remote wilderness of British Columbia, Mount Meager is showing troubling signs of awakening. Satellite data now reveals a steady uplift focused around the volcano's ice-capped summit, a movement eerily similar to the ground deformation seen before Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980. This pattern suggests mounting pressure deep underground, hinting that magma could be rising once again. Thermal imaging adds to the concern, showing expanding hotspots across the mountain's surface. Meanwhile, sensors have begun detecting small emissions of sulfur dioxide and carbonyl sulfide, gases typically released when magma nears the surface. These indicators together point to a volcano growing restless after centuries of dormancy. What makes Mount Meager especially dangerous is its vast glacial cover. If an eruption occurs, the intense heat would rapidly melt this ice, producing massive lahars fast-moving volcanic mud flows that could surge down valleys at over 100 km per hour, obliterating everything in their path. Evidence of such cataclysmic events still marks the landscape today. Meager's last major eruption, about 2,400 years ago, left deposits more than 30 meters thick and reshaped entire valleys. Volcanologists are now on high alert, According to Dr. Helena Grayson of the Geological Survey of Canada, the warning signs are unmistakable, swelling ground, gas emissions and harmonic tremors, all classic precursors to major eruptions. And while Mount Meager is drawing new attention, scientists caution that it is not the only volcano in the region quietly stirring beneath the surface. Just 80 kilometers north of Vancouver, Mount Garibaldi towers above the Sea to Sky Highway a stunning landmark admired by travelers but rarely recognized for what it truly is, an active volcano lying quietly beneath the surface. New geological surveys have revealed unsettling signs that Garibaldi is reawakening. Scientists have identified a magma chamber just 8 kilometers below the summit, where molten rock appears to be accumulating once more. Dormant geothermal vents and warm springs are showing renewed activity, and gas sensors have detected increasing emissions of sulfur dioxide and carbonyl sulfide minus chemical traces that almost always accompany rising magma. These findings carry serious implications. If pressure within the magma chamber continues to build, an eruption could unfold rapidly, spreading ash clouds across southwestern British Columbia within hours. Vancouver International Airport could be forced to shut down, and cities throughout the region might be blanketed in fine volcanic ash, a toxic dust that can clog engines, contaminate water, and cause lasting respiratory damage. The economic fallout could reach billions, while health risks would extend far beyond the immediate area. Dr. James Holloway, who has spent years studying Garibaldi's seismic patterns, offers a stark warning. If Garibaldi erupted tomorrow, Vancouver's first sign might be ash falling on rooftops. If you have any relatives or friends living near this area, please share this important information with them, and be prepared because the information about the next mountain is equally dangerous. Far to the north lies Franklin Glacier, a long dormant giant entombed beneath layers of ancient ice, but now that silence is being broken. Recent INSAR radar imaging has revealed troubling signs of awakening. Subtle yet consistent ground deformation has been detected beneath the glacier, while deep harmonic tremors, the rhythmic vibrations produced by moving magma, are echoing from below. These are not random noises of the Earth, but the same seismic patterns that preceded Iceland's Eisjafjallajökull eruption in 2010, an event that grounded air traffic across Europe for weeks. As the investigation deepens, more evidence of internal unrest continues to emerge. Satellite thermal scans show unusual heat emissions piercing through the glacier's icy surface, hinting at growing thermal activity underneath. At the same time, ice core samples extracted from the area have revealed elevated levels of hydrogen sulfide, a distinct chemical fingerprint of magma degassing deep underground. Together these clues suggest that Franklin Glacier's long dormancy may be coming to an end. The consequences of this awakening could be catastrophic. The mounting heat is now melting the glacier from beneath carving vast hidden chambers of pressurized water and steam. Should magma rise high enough to breach this icy ceiling, the result could trigger a fratomagmatic explosion, a violent reaction between molten rock and water that unleashes massive blasts of steam, ash and debris. In such a scenario, entire valleys could be obliterated within minutes, and towering ash plumes could reach the stratosphere disrupting air travel across continents. So why are so many of Canada's sleeping volcanoes stirring at once? Before we get into that, please give me 10 seconds of your time. If you find my content useful and interesting, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. 
and each subscription from you is the biggest motivation for me to continue creating better content. All of British Columbia's volcanoes share a single powerful source, the Cascadia Subduction Zone. This massive fault line stretches from Northern California all the way to British Columbia, forming one of Earth's most volatile geological boundaries. Here, the Pacific Plate is slowly sliding beneath the North American Plate, about 4 centimeters per year. That steady movement generates immense heat and pressure, melting rock deep underground and driving magma upward through fractures in the crust. Recently, Canadian seismologists made a discovery that could redefine our understanding of this region. Using seismic tomography they detected what appear to be magma conduits connecting Mount Meagre, Mount Garibaldi, Mount Cayley and Franklin Glacier, forming what may be a continuous volcanic corridor beneath British Columbia. If this finding is correct, these volcanoes aren't isolated systems, they're part of an interconnected network. This means that a major rupture along the Cascadia Fault could potentially trigger a chain reaction, awakening multiple volcanoes at once. This isn't just speculation. In Indonesia similar volcanic chains have shown this exact behavior, when one volcano erupts the sudden change in pressure can destabilize nearby magma chambers, sparking eruptions throughout the region. The last Cascadia megathrust earthquake struck in 1700 AD, an event so powerful it generated tsunamis that reached Japan, over 8,000 kilometers away. Geological records indicate these massive quakes occur every 300 to 600 years. It has now been 325 years since the last one. When minus not if the next megathrust earthquake strikes, British Columbia could face a twin catastrophe, violent shaking from below and volcanic fire from above. Canada lies on the Pacific Ring of Fire, one of the planet's most volatile geological zones, yet its volcano monitoring efforts tell a very different story. Across the entire western volcanic belt, fewer than 20 seismic sensors are in operation. By comparison, Mount St. Helens in the United States alone has over 50, while Japan's national network uses thousands of instruments streaming continuous real-time data from every active volcano. The funding gap is even more striking. Canada spends less than one-tenth of what the U.S. invests in volcanic surveillance, despite facing comparable hazards. There is no nationwide early warning system, no automated gas detection, and only a handful of live seismic feeds from active sites. In 2025 international monitoring agencies detected clusters of microquakes beneath Mount Meagre and Mount Garibaldi, tremor patterns nearly identical to those seen before major eruptions worldwide. Yet funding and infrastructure for Canada's volcano observatories remained unchanged. As Dr. Raymond Lee of Natural Resources Canada warned, if a major eruption began tonight, we'd be blind until the first explosion. This is not merely a scientific oversight, it's a matter of public safety. Early detection enables evacuation, disaster planning and protection of infrastructure. Without adequate sensors or communication systems, communities living near potential hazard zones have virtually no warning. Why does a developed nation with such evident risk remain underprepared? The reasons lie in budget constraints, underestimation of danger, and the logistical challenges of Canada's vast remote wilderness. But nature pays no heed to bureaucracy. Deep beneath these mountains, pressure continues to mount, and one volcano in particular is beginning to stir more violently than ever before. Between Mount Garibaldi and Mount Meagre rises Mount Cayley, once dismissed as an extinct volcano, now showing unmistakable signs of life. From 2023 to 2025, satellite data revealed the mountain's surface rising nearly 3 centimeters each year, a clear signal of magma shifting deep below. Gas sensors began detecting sulfur dioxide, the chemical fingerprint of volcanic degassing, while thermal imagery uncovered vast subsurface heat zones stretching kilometers beneath the peak. Local communities have sensed the change firsthand. The stench of sulfur near streams, new boiling pools forming where the ground was once cool, and eerie circles of dead vegetation, telltale marks of toxic gases seeping from below. Seismic networks have captured low-frequency vibrations known as harmonic tremors, often called the planet's heartbeat before an eruption. These pulses suggest molten rock is actively moving through freshly opened fractures within the crust. Scientists now suspect Mount Cayley may be the keystone of British Columbia's volcanic network. Advanced imaging shows magma conduits converging beneath it before splitting north toward Franklin Glacier and south toward Garibaldi. If correct, Cayley sits at a vital pressure junction, a switchboard for the entire system's energy flow. This revelation redefines what it means for a volcano to be dormant. For millennia, Cayley was silent, considered extinct. But its recent awakening proves that volcanic sleep can last thousands of years, only to end when tectonic forces reignite activity. Those forces stem from the relentless pressure of the Cascadia subduction zone, 
where the Pacific Plate grinds beneath North America, injecting magma upward into the crust. Mount Cayley's resurgence is more than a local event, it's a warning. It suggests that British Columbia's volcanoes are not isolated peaks, but connected giants stirring together, marking the beginning of a new phase of geological awakening that may already be underway. By the end of 2025, scientists uncovered a discovery that redefined our understanding of the Pacific Northwest. The volcanic activity across British Columbia wasn't random, it was synchronized. Seismic tremors at Mount Meagre coincided perfectly with heat surges at Mount Garibaldi. Ground swelling near Mount Cayley matched bursts of gas from Franklin Glacier. Each volcano appeared to move in harmony responding to a single subterranean rhythm. Advanced seismic tomography soon revealed the cause, a vast interconnected magma reservoir stretching nearly 600 kilometers beneath the crust. This colossal chamber linked all four volcanoes into one massive system. Pressure shifts beneath one mountain could send ripples through the others, triggering chain reactions across hundreds of kilometers. The implications were immense. A major Cascadia megathrust earthquake, for example, could awaken several volcanoes at once. Geological records confirmed that this had happened before periods of near simultaneous eruptions coincided with intense seismic activity throughout history. If such an event occurred today, the devastation would be beyond measure. Rivers could be blocked by lava, valleys entombed in ash, and melting glaciers could unleash catastrophic floods. Highways and railways would collapse, cutting off communities across the province. Ash plumes might darken skies from Vancouver to the prairies, grounding flights, disrupting agriculture and sending economic losses into the hundreds of billions. Now as all four volcanoes show increasing signs of unrest, scientists face an urgent question, not if they will erupt but when and how many at once. To find answers they are probing the deep forces beneath the Pacific Northwest, pressures that have been building silently for over three centuries. Deep beneath the rugged mountains of British Columbia, something ancient is stirring. For over three centuries immense pressure has been silently building in the shadows of the earth, unseen, unstoppable, and now perhaps awakening. It all traces back to the year 1700 when the Cascadia subduction zone unleashed its last catastrophic megathrust earthquake. That colossal event reshaped coastlines, sent tsunamis across the Pacific, and then, silence. The Pacific Plate stopped gliding smoothly beneath the North American Plate, the fault locked, and the strain began to accumulate, year after year, inch by inch. Each passing year the Pacific Plate shoves eastward about 4 centimeters. Each year the North American Plate resists, storing unimaginable energy deep in the crust. Three centuries of tension, three centuries of quiet pressure. But nothing stays quiet forever. Scientists know that when this energy finally snaps, the resulting earthquake could reach magnitude 9 or greater, shaking the entire Pacific Northwest for minutes on end. Yet that may only be the first chapter of a much larger disaster. History tells us that massive earthquakes often wake sleeping volcanoes. After Chile's 1960 quake, volcanoes across the Andes roared to life. Alaska's 1964 quake ignited eruptions along the Aleutians. And in Japan after 2011, Volcanoes long thought dead began to stir again. Now signals beneath British Columbia hint at a similar awakening, ground swelling, strange tremors and rising volcanic gases suggesting magma is on the move. If true, these are not coincidences. They are warnings. A preview of what might follow when Cascadia's next great quake strikes. Seismic chaos, tsunamis tearing across the coast, and volcanoes erupting in its wake. Multiple disasters unfolding at once. The ultimate stress test for human preparedness and still few are aware. The clock is ticking, the ground is straining and the mountains are beginning to whisper again. In the final months of 2025, scientists monitoring the sea to sky corridor began to notice something they couldn't explain. Seismographs, tuned to capture the faintest tremors, were picking up a strange rhythm, clusters of microquakes pulsing every few hours with uncanny precision. At first it seemed trivial, background noise in an already restless region, but as the data accumulated a disturbing pattern emerged. Every pulse aligned perfectly along the length of the Cascadia Fault, the same geological scar responsible for some of the most powerful earthquakes in history. Then came the discovery that changed everything. Using magnetotelluric imaging, a technology that maps heat and conductivity deep underground, researchers detected a massive plume of rising energy beneath the Vancouver metropolitan area. The readings were unambiguous. Molten rock was moving upward, forcing its way through fractures that had been sealed for centuries. Even without a visible eruption the implications are staggering. The slow relentless deformation of the ground could be catastrophic.
gas lines could rupture, highways and bridges designed for earthquakes might crumble under the steady force of uplift, transit tunnels could twist, buckle and collapse as the crust reshapes itself beneath the city. Few realize that Vancouver's breathtaking skyline sits atop one of the youngest volcanic systems on the planet. The towering peaks of Garibaldi, Meagher and Cayley aren't just scenic mountains. They're active volcanic edifices linked to pressurized magma reservoirs deep below. Yet development continues, luxury homes rise, and property values soar in regions directly within potential hazard zones. Surveys reveal that fewer than 10% of residents have any form of volcanic emergency plan. Schools and hospitals lack procedures for ashfall, toxic gases or lahars. The illusion of safety persists, but the data doesn't lie. Instruments on land and satellites in orbit tell the same story. The ground beneath Vancouver is shifting. It's as if the Earth itself is drawing a deep, slow breath. A warning that something ancient is stirring once again. The question haunting scientists now isn't if the region will awaken, but when. By the time 2025 gave way to 2026, the signs could no longer be dismissed as coincidence. Across British Columbia's ancient volcanic belt, a deep and restless energy was stirring beneath the Earth. Every instrument, from orbiting satellites to seismometers buried in mountain soil, whispered the same alarming truth. Something massive was awakening. Satellite interferometry began showing unmistakable distortions in the landscape, the ground itself rising and warping as hidden chambers filled with molten pressure. What had once been slow, millimeter-scale movements now surged into centimeters each year. At the same time, volcanic gases spiked to levels unseen in generations. Sulfur dioxide emissions around Mount Meagher and Mount Cayley doubled, then tripled, filling the air with the chemical signature of awakening magma. High above, research aircraft with infrared sensors detected dozens of new heat spots, places where the land suddenly glowed 5 to 10 degrees hotter than before. Below, the Earth's quiet pulse turned violent. Thousands of micro-earthquakes rippled through the crust, their patterns evolving from random bursts into the rhythmic tremors of magma on the move. Ground-penetrating radar revealed voids forming where heat was melting ancient ice and vaporizing groundwater. Fractures spidered upward through rock layers, fault lines of a new beginning. When scientists finally layered the seismic, chemical and thermal data together, the result was chillingly clear. Magma was rising beneath not one but several volcanoes at once. Research teams from Canada, the US and Japan all reached the same conclusion, a region-wide reawakening was underway. International agencies quietly raised alert levels. Still the question remained. When would the Earth break its silence? The forces beneath were building, their rhythm unmistakable, a heartbeat growing louder, a warning written in stone. If you found this journey as fascinating, don't forget to leave a like, share this video with fellow science enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into the mysteries of our world. And remember, turn on the notification bell, so you'll be the first to know when the next chapter in Earth's unfolding story begins. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.